My name is Gavin Evans, and this is my review of Dog Short Sordos. I know I can't pronounce that word properly, but anyways, uh, werewolves. Everybody knows about them, but here's the thing. The subgenre of werewolf movies actually kind of sucks. Like, if I was asked, Gavin, what is your favorite werewolf movie? I would probably say Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And then they might be like, well, that doesn't count. So then I would say Wallace and Gromit, The Course of the Real Rabbit. But then they would say, Gavin, I said real wolf, not real rabbit. So then I would have to think about it some more. And I would say An American Werewolf in London. And I do like that movie. I just don't think it's as great as some people say. But thankfully, I have a new answer to that question. And the answer to the best pure werewolf movie is Dog Soldiers. Like, this movie was awesome. That's the word I would use to describe it. And I just love the plot of this trained military unit stuck in the woods with these werewolves after them for the course of one night. It's just the perfect premise for a movie like this. It's like aliens in the woods, and that's a very good thing. And I also like how the movie mainly takes place in this one house. It feels confined. It feels like the characters are trapped. And it reminded me of that level in Resident Evil 4. Well, everyone's trying to get into this little house and you have to kill them and then board the windows up. It reminded me of that in the best possible way. Like, this movie manages to be tense and thrilling throughout. And I love the fact that the characters have limited ammo. So, like, it's like there's a time bomb factor to it until they run out. And I also thought this movie ended on a really strong note. The last act is its absolute peak. I won't give anything away, but there is some ridiculously awesome stuff that happens. And there's also some real emotion. So that surprised me. And I also thought this movie actually was kind of funny in moments. There was one scene of someone getting punched on a bed that cracked me up really good. And there was a few bits of dialogue that I thought were really cheeky, really clever. It, it has that British sense of humor you might want from a movie like this. I also think this movie has some great practical effects. The werewolves look amazing here. They never look goofy, they look serious and deadly. And that's the way I want them to be. This movie also like really goes for it in terms of brutality. Uh, there are some moments that I'm just like, okay, nice, keep it up movie. I think the action is well shot. And I think just tonally, this movie does everything so incredibly well. Now, I did watch this movie on Blu-ray, but I actually think it's a really bad transfer, and there's lots of grain when I was watching this movie, and I like it like that. Like, it just gives this movie its own flavor. It just gives this movie more atmosphere, so I really love that. And on top of everything, the movie has a really strong cast. I thought Kevin McKidd was great. He was a likable lead and I liked his growth. I thought Sean Putwe gave the best performance of the movie. He has the most range and he's also a complete badass. Liam Cunningham is very good in this movie. I liked Emma Cleesby a, a fair amount. I liked Darren Moffitt. Uh, there was one scene, I've already referenced it, but some of the last act with his character just gave me the biggest grin on my face. Like, it is really great stuff. So, um, yeah, my only real issue with this movie is that it is a little slow at the start. It did take me a bit to get into it, but 
once I got on this movie's wavelengths, I was in it all the way till the end. I think this movie is just the perfect kind of werewolf movie. It is action-packed, it is tense, it is thrilling, it is funny, it can be emotional when it wants to, it gets progressively better as the movie goes along, and I, I was really impressed. And it just also feels like its own thing entirely. Neil Marshall did a great job here, so I'm giving Dog Soldiers an 8 out of 10. There was a case of Chekhov's gun that I thought was so brilliant and funny, and there's also a scene of a tent opening up that I also thought was really clever. This movie's just great. If you haven't seen it, like, I don't know, I feel like it might not be for everyone that the British sense of humor might be lost on some people, but even then, you've still got yourself a really strong action horror movie. So, yeah, Dog Soldiers. Have you seen it? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos soon. And Gavin, out.